Today we're at Adman Steel Shades in County Wexford in Ireland and we're going to get behind the scenes to see how they have transformed their company and their culture in under three years. For somebody that's came across this video for the first time, what, what is lean? For us, lean is just eliminating waste. It's just getting rid of the non-value. It's just making work easy. It's trying to send people home on time every evening with a full tank of energy. We were at your morning meeting this morning and yeah, yeah. everybody is really bought in. They're making improvements. Did it take a while for that culture to get embedded? We wasted the first year and a half. We didn't fully understand it. So when we, when we were holding morning meetings, it was like three or four of us would host the meeting. We, yeah. were, we were trying to tell people what to do. I think it was after visiting yourselves at one point, you said, no, no, everybody has to do the morning meeting. The meeting yeah. is about the person holding the morning meeting. That's really when we started to get traction. We don't reward for people making improvements or any of that type of stuff. The, the reward is a person's role or a person's job gets much easier. Here at Adman Steel Shades, they spend 30 minutes every single day improving and 3 sing their entire facility. The entire company has stopped and they're actually playing music on a speaker system so that everybody knows that it's improvement time. It's a really good idea. It's a great way to start off the day. It comes in, gives everybody a pump, fun, exciting and ready to get to work. One of the things that blew me away this morning was the music that plays during yeah. improvement time. And it's something that we're definitely going to take back to yeah. our company. We found that during 3 s time, um, which is 20 minutes after our morning meeting, people were finishing early. They were going back to work early. It was We were starting to lose traction on it a little bit. So I think Alan came up with the idea that, well, well, hang on a second. How about we play music? for 20 minutes and everybody in the entire factory knows that once the music is playing uh, we're 3 s To think that they don't actually produce anything for the first 40 minutes of the day you know how did you get your head around that at the start because surely you were saying 50 people times 40 minutes yeah. per day Yeah We didn't <laughs> We didn't <laughs> But slowly but surely our, our meeting started off uh there were shorter meetings at the start. It wasn't overnight. It, it, it definitely took time and we added on to it, but we, we don't miss, we don't miss 40 minutes out of the day. I think the key message here at Adman Steel Shades is the just-in-time principle. So Paul, this machine really encourages just-in-time, would you yeah. say? Every shed is made to order. We buy our material in coils. The coils are fed through the machine. Each stage of roll, rollers actually add a, a slight fold until it gets to the very end and it's actually formed. Previously, we would have made all our sheds out of a, a box iron. We'd have had to take that material off a rack, we'd have to weld it, then we'd have to bring it out to spray paint them, then we'd have to wait for it to dry, yeah. bring it back in, and then we'd fix our sheet into it. We can basically roll this material to length, doesn't have to be spray painted, ready for <laughs> Amazing. shape. It's ready really strong as well, isn't it? Very, very strong. So I really like the material flow here. So the door goes up, the raw material comes in here, it goes straight on to the roll farmer, then it gets cut, then it goes onto a trolley. So the flow of material has been really well thought through. So as I'm walking around, I'm seeing more and more detail and I've just realized that the material coming off this machine will be a finished product in one hour. We've been doing lean for about three years and I think we, years. We, we only made progress maybe after the first 18 months and then we, we really made a lot of progress. There's less mayhem. Everything is very organized. We have less staff turnover. We have less accidents and people are generally happier or probably more profitable. The benefits have been been huge. Uh, this is our Trump punch press. For example, there's a, a small bracket we make yeah. on the punch press. It used to take one person three hours to make a, a batch of those. We can do it now on this machine, fully automated in 40 minutes. Doesn't require anyone with the machine. She'll work away on herself. She'll cut, she'll fold, and she'll put them into the box for dispatch. So, so three hours down to three 40 hours minutes. Down to 40 minutes. Paul is just explaining this format uh, system that they have. Before, before we had this, um, we would have had like six people plus supervisor working in an area. People weren't really clear about what it is they were doing. We made out a full list of all the tasks that are involved in making one shed. We have rough times allocated to each task. So it allowed us to move the tasks around to make sure that we stop and start at the one time. People have total clarity when they're starting a job. Nobody has to be rushing. There's no panic. Everybody knows what's coming next. You know, person one knows that you know, for the first 10 minutes of this job, he's making the base and cutting the timber. 
Yeah. You know, for the next five minutes, he's going to cut the timber for the optional extras. So it's all carefully planned. There's nobody over here working really, really hard yeah. and somebody beside him that's kind of yeah. getting it easy. Yeah. It's really clear on what you have to do. You go to, you go to the sheet, you say, okay, we're doing a 10 by 10 and this is my role. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want you to get how good this is. So when this guy's doing the back gable, this guy's doing the front gable, this side panel has been made and this other side panel has been made right here and lifted straight on to the A-frame to be loaded onto the truck. The synchronization here is really incredible. So I really want to show you this board right behind me. It's their maintenance board. It's how they manage all their vehicles, all their equipment, right down to every single detail. Even the way they clean their sign at their front entrance. So they're using an app called Gembadox which they use to manage all of their standard works or all of their SOPs. So this shows exactly how to do this task in a simple three-step process. They're doing lean in the office just as much as they do it in the factory. So I'm with Amy in the accounts department. So Amy, what's this board about here? Yeah, so this is our accounts commission by board. We have ours broken down to our daily, weekly and monthly tasks. Yep. So it just sets a very clear standard of our tasks that we need to complete. Um, we have also put on the um, standard operating procedure. Yeah. So with that, it can be scanned on the phone or through the PC. It'll bring up the step-by-step -step SOP on how to complete that. If I need to shoot off, they can jump in, complete the task. Yeah. And again, it's to the same standard as myself. So we would create the SOP through Gembadox. You can save it and add the QR code on yeah. them. You can even do it on the phone and cut the pictures down so they're as clear as possible. Yeah. So as I walk around, I notice that they have standard works, but they don't only have standard works, they're actually using standard works to carry out the tasks. I'm with James, and this is the Kanban system that Adman used for ordering all their supplies. What's the benefit of a Kanban system? It's visual for number one. Yeah. You, can, you can see what's on order. You, you'll see the weeks, it's split up in four weeks. So the likes of this week, I would have ordered all, uh, this, all the stuff you see here. Last yeah. week would have been week two, and previous week three. Uh -huh. So on Friday, I'll move them down. Yeah. I think the big thing on it is the value of stuff. So the likes of you have a coil, you've got a coil here worth 30 odd thousand euro load on with the same as magnetic tape for 12 euro. So it's the same system no matter if it's 30,000 euro or exactly. 12 yeah, euro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same yeah. system. One of the things I, I love is the amount of standards you have around the place. Yeah. Why, why do you think standards are so important for, for your organization? We like to keep everything like really, really simple. Yeah. Uh, we use this acronym called uh, STEP, so S-T-E-P. The first bit is S, which is a standard. So y you must have a standard, but there must be something in place that says, you know, this is, this is, this is what we're looking for. T is time. So there must be time allocated for it. Uh, e is for equipment. And the last one is P, uh, the person. So um, there needs to be a person nominated or allocated. So it makes it really clear as well. Yeah. S-T-E-P, really yeah. easy to follow. Um, if you're missing any one of those, it usually fails. So I just want to show you the visual control they have. As the material comes off the roll former, they have a color-coded visual chart, which tells them exactly which parts to put in the trolley. So I want to show you how they split up all the parts and it's all done through color coding. So all the pink parts go to the pink jigs, the blue parts go to the blue jigs, the green parts go to the green jig, and so on. So they've got a really intricate part that they used to cut manually using power tools, but they've now got a robot to do that job. So th this is a magnet we installed on the yard forklift, so we were having awful trouble with punctures. Okay. And just lads going around, screws falling out of their pockets, falling off A-frames. We were in getting puncture repaired once, twice a week, every week. So one of the guys came up and I did to get a fairly strong magnet, put it on the bottom of the forklift. Uh -huh. So as it's driving around the yard, as you can see, it, it's actually <laughs> collecting, collecting screws and right. bits of scrap and whatever else. So. <laughs> I don't think we've had a puncture since we installed it. I'm with Anthony here, and I've just noticed this really simple sales board. So what's this all about? So we decided to put it up, create a visual management so everyone can see what we're trying to achieve, uh, where we're going, and our daily targets. So you can see we made a bit of fun out of taking the boxes. And it kind of gives that dopamine hit as well, doesn't it? Absolutely. Every time you get an order, you go up and press the button. And I think that filters through the office. You can see the open office here, so everyone kind of hears it, and it keeps everyone, yeah, it keeps yeah. everyone going. It's a bit uh, of a laugh. Another one. 
For us, this has probably been one of our biggest wins. Tubing system stopped a lot of mayhem that was going on in the factory because we used to experience a lot of stop start moments where we'd be flying long at work and suddenly we'd run out of something so we'd be stopped again all because we just didn't have the stock on hand it took us a couple of months to get it up and running but it's after taking away those stop start moments from our business now at the moment so now we have a steady flow of work all the time now rather than constant stop start moments all the time so a lot of time people are afraid to say they made a mistake or afraid to maybe make a contribution so you might have a problem yeah and someone actually might have the answer and they might be afraid just to speak up. So we focus a lot on trying to get people's contributions. We do that by trying to create that safe, that safe space. So our morning meeting is purposely all about the problems and we want to be comfortable talking about them. Yeah. And once we, once we're comfortable talking about them, people are not afraid to say, hang on a second, I made a mistake or hang on a second, this is a problem or how can we fix this? As you can see, all our trucks have no body. Uh, our A-frames, as you see over here, they are our truck bodies. So as our guys are making the sheds, we're actually loading the, the truck as well at the same time. Yeah. We've 16 trucks. So like if all 16 of those trucks turn up here at the one time, uh, there's no room. So we need to make sure that when our fitters get back, they're able to turn around very, very quickly. Yeah. And our, our fitters can come back with an empty load, uh, take off the empty A-frame, full, get fully loaded again within 15 minutes. So yeah. it's just this really, really quick turnaround time. Once the body goes on, just four quick locks and that's it, it's ready to go again. Yeah. Can you honestly describe what things were like before we implemented Lean? You were always thinking about work. Yeah. How hard is my day going to be tomorrow? We had no procedures in place. We had no structure. It was it was just chaos every day. I reckon there's three reasons why Lean fails. Yeah. Uh, the first one is the people don't have a morning meeting. They don't allocate improvement time. They don't expose their people to new ideas or yeah. other companies that are doing Lean. Yeah. And from what I've seen today, you're doing all three. Yeah. You're doing a brilliant morning meeting. Uh, you're given 20 minutes every day for every person to improve. Yeah. And, you know, you're sending your team to visit other companies yeah. that are doing lean. We didn't really start making progress until we went to see other companies. Or sometimes you don't, you don't know it's there until you see it. Um, lots of times you'll go away. You won't expect to see what you saw. You might only see something small. Yeah. You might get a little trigger. I would say there's a fourth reason why lean sometimes fails as well. Unless you've really experienced mayhem at its maximum, you will really do anything to make sure that you, you don't go back there. Um, I think that's definitely a factor. Yeah, because yeah. I think you were in the same position that we were in. Yeah. You know, yeah. back before we found out about Lean, our company was an absolute mess. Yeah. That it was a disaster. Yeah. There was orders going out late. Yeah. There was defects all the time. Yeah. Really high staff turnover. And yeah. now it's the total opposite. So yeah. There wasn't enough hours in the day for me. I think of the, the contrast from yeah. <laughs> like three or four years ago to now, it's just incredible, yeah. isn't it? So I really hope you enjoyed this Lean tour as much as I did. And if you want to come here for yourself, visit Adman Steel Shades on LinkedIn and be sure to subscribe to the Lean Made Simple YouTube channel for more factory tour visits like this.